Hey everybody, on this episode of VFX Studio, we're going to be making some custom 3D environments. Before we get into the effect, I'd like to acknowledge a comment that was made on my previous video of weather effects. The comment was made by Wordy is Due, and he said, You could also add a pond ripple distortion effect to make it look like the rain was hitting the water. I did try this when I was making the effect, but as you can see here, after adding a new grade and dropping the pond ripple effect into it, the ripples are not affected by the 3D movement of the grade. Hopefully this effect will be later updated to accept 3D. And now here's today's effect. The background for that shot was created by using four different images and compositing them together in 3D space. To do this, first explore the different camera perspectives that HipFilm offers. Active camera is what your audience will see. Perspective allows you to see where the camera is and how it is moving. The up and down arrows move your camera closer and farther from your subject. The crossed arrows move it in all four directions, and the arrow circle rotates the camera view. The orbit camera tool can be used to move around in space. I keyframe the camera's transform properties to move horizontally. Drop in your background picture and switch it to 3D. As you can see, the active camera acts like a real one when moving and looking at an asset. If we go back to the active camera setting, we can see the result. Next, I put the snowy ground and move it using the blue arrow. Next come the two factory images. Remember that for each element, you have to turn on the 3D and move it closer to the camera using the Z axis. Two videos of smoke were added above the pillars so that it gives the illusion that the background does have moving parts. Now for the custom touch, I added myself on the green screen. In the 3D space, this video was closest to the camera. Here is the full 3D rotation of the scene. Now the truck has a bunch of masks and everything around the windows and all around it so that it's just the truck. Move it closer to the camera, but not as close to the green screen asset. Duplicate that layer, then rotate it and flip it so that it's in the position of a shadow. Add a brightness and contrast and blur effect. Turn the blur to 2 or 3, and then darken the image using the brightness and contrast. Turn the brightness and contrast all the way down until the image is completely black. Now drop the opacity. I also added a fog and snow effect to give the feeling of atmosphere. This is a picture of the background that you just saw. There is no 3D in here, this is just a picture. I'm going to put it behind my green screen asset so that you can see the difference between a picture background and an actual 3D background. Obviously the picture has less depth and less realism than the actual 3D environment. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like rating below and consider subscribing to receive the latest updates. If you have suggestions for new effects or any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching.